Okay, guys, let's go to the part three of the standing back defense. Oh, again, always protect yourself, protect your knee, right? If you want to just protect yourself and the hooks is like this. If you want to protect yourself, your hooks and the knee, you got to go like this, but you have to put your shoulder. But sometimes someone gets super fast in this position. I don't know how, like, if, like I'm dragging, boom, I jump straight on my back, boom, right? And what do you want, like the first escape here, right? The way you can move her, the way if she, she's gonna fall, she's gonna put her foot on the mat. And the other way, she put her foot on the mat, I go this way. But at this point, she jumped so fast on my back, I was here that she got the hook that she want. She got this hook right here. So don't stay here, otherwise she's gonna just go to the choke and it's done. Once she has the hook that is not supposed to be there, right? You're gonna push, but before you push, you gotta do a transition, right? You're gonna shift your body, right? How? Because this position cannot stay so much there. She's ready to choke you. So as soon as this happens, let's say she's there, she jump, right? With the opposite choke, automatically, boom, I move her to the other side. It's not a thing you have to do slow. Because if she jump quickly, this side is the, with this side, okay, I'm safe. I can't, I can't take my time, I can't do this. But once she jump with the automatic, the other side, I'm not safe. She's going straight to the choke. And that's not good. But once this happens, let's say you're here, and she's jumped, right? Boom, you automatic shift to the side that you want. You see? I grab both legs, push her, and move. Back of me here, boom, move. And what is she gonna do? She's gonna put her foot on the mat and come back to my back. If she don't do that, what's gonna happen whenever she jump? Right, boom. Whenever I do this, she's gonna end up right on the foot guard or I'm on top of her. So what's usually happen, especially you doing the in a tournament, especially as for the competitors, whenever you hear someone jump in your back, and the wrong side switch, you go. You try here, but the person gonna gonna try go to something else, and then you can come back to the other skate that we did before. But be careful, don't. Especially in this situation, someone has the hook, right? The cross goal choke. If you have this hook, don't hang it out here. Especially if you go here, it's over. You still can escape, of course. I'm gonna show how. Still, that is a way, but try avoid. If you can avoid, push her up and pull everything to the side. You can, and then she's gonna have to come back and restart over. 